Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to introduce some basic facts about parallel planes and introduce some, also some basic facts about lines and parallel planes. To begin, we'll start with a definition. So this is going to be reversible. A line and a plane are parallel if they do not intersect. So if we have a plane and a line and they are parallel, they will never intersect. So a definition of a parallel line and a parallel plane. So the converse of that is also true. Second, two planes are parallel if they do not intersect. So if two planes do not intersect, then they are parallel. Or if two planes are parallel, then they do not intersect. Third, third definition is the definition of skew lines. Two lines are skew if they are not coplanar. So in our diagram here, we can see that CD is in the black or the top plane, and AB is in the bottom plane. These two planes are parallel. They're not going to intersect. So these two lines are skew. CD is and AB are skew lines. So Example of skew lines are lines that, you know, will, they're not parallel, but they're, they won't meet either. So if I imagine these two, my two spatulas here are lines, and if they cross something like this, but out in space, okay, out in three dimensions, you know, they are skew. They aren't ever going to intersect but they're not necessarily parallel either. They have different slopes. So that's an example of skew lines. We have a theorem. Now, this is not necessarily reversible. Theorem that says, if a plane intersects two parallel planes, the lines of intersection are parallel. So here we're given that planes M and N are parallel. Plane M is parallel to plane N. And plane S intersects both plane M and plane N. And we know when two planes intersect, so plane M intersects plane S at AB, and plane N intersects plane S at CD. If plane M is parallel to plane N, then we will know that line AB is going to be parallel to line CD. If a plane intersects two parallel planes, the lines of intersection will be parallel. And here are some properties of lines and planes. You may want to pause the video and write these down, but if two planes are perpendicular to the same line, then they are parallel to each other. If two planes are perpendicular to the same line, then the two planes must be parallel to each other. If a line is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines, it is perpendicular to the other plane as well. That must be a typo. I bet you that is if a plane is perpendicular to one of two parallel planes. It is perpendicular to the other plane as well. That should be a plane. If two planes are parallel to the same plane, then they are parallel to each other. Well, that's just the transitive property. Okay? If A is parallel to B and B is parallel to C, then a is parallel to C. Now perpendicular, that's not transitive. That's the second one here. That would be like plane A is perpendicular to B, but B is parallel to C. Then we know that A is going to be perpendicular to C as well. So that's this number two. 
if two lines are perpendicular to the same plane, then they are parallel to each other. Well, that makes sense because the lines of intersection of planes, of parallel planes are parallel. So if two lines are perpendicular to the same plane, then they are parallel to each other. So if we had two lines that were both perpendicular to plane N, something like that, then we would know that these two lines are parallel. So if two lines are perpendicular to the same plane, then they are parallel to each other. That totally makes sense. If a plane is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines, it is perpendicular to the other line as well. That's very similar to four. So if we said, you know, plane M is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines, so then you must be given the parallel lines first. Well, if the plane is perpendicular to one line, then it's got to be perpendicular to the other if the two lines are parallel. So, a little bit to grasp and absorb there. That's going to be somewhat of a challenge. So, write those down. We'll revisit those in class. But let's take a look at our sample proof. It's going to be a little bit more challenging. I'm going to bounce back and forth between the diagram and the, and the two columns because I don't have enough space. But let's take a look at what we got here. Given, say, that plane M is parallel to plane N. So our two planes are parallel. And we know that AB lies in plane M, and we know that CD lies in plane N. That's good to know. And they also tell us that AC is parallel to BD. So let's take a look at all our givens and see what we can come up with. We want to prove that AD bisects BC. So we want to prove these two diagonals bisect each other. <clears throat> well, interestingly enough, we have... Um, two planes that are parallel, which means that AB and CD must also be parallel. So, but first, what we need to do is we need to establish that AB, CD. ABDC, pardon me, ABDC, is a plane. And how do we know that ABC, ABDC is a plane? We know ABDC is a plane because of the two parallel lines. These two parallel lines form a plane. So we can say ABDC is a plane because two parallel lines determine a plane. That's something from some of our previous knowledge back in the first section of chapter six. So now if ABDC is a plane, we then know that AB is going to be parallel to CD. Now, why is AB parallel to CD? Well, they are parallel because if a plane intersects two parallel planes, a plane intersects two parallel planes, so plane ABCD here is intersecting our parallel planes of M and N. Well, then their lines of intersection are parallel. Which then makes 
both pairs of opposite sides of a quadrilateral are parallel, that makes ABDC a parallelogram. And that is super helpful. So, both pairs of opposite sides of a quad Parallel implies a parallelogram. Well, that is super helpful because now we have a parallelogram, and we re might recall our properties of a parallelogram, that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other, and AD and BC are diagonals of a parallelogram. So now we know that AD bisects BC, and our reason is a parallelogram implies the diagonals bisect each other. So we have some application of our new concepts here about parallel lines and parallel planes, but also a nice review of uh, some of the concepts of a parallelogram. So, good review there, nice intro to this section in Chapter 6, and we'll work more on this when I see you in class.